Easter. Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. Hallelujah. Now that, friends, is a phrase that in churches all around the globe, in whatever language people speak, people say on Easter Sunday, on Resurrection Sunday, someone will say, Christ is risen. The person that they say it to or the group that they say it to will say, he's risen indeed. And then all together, they'll say, hallelujah. Let's try it again. Are you ready? Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. Hallelujah. Good job, everyone. Now, I don't know about you, but I wake up on Easter morning so excited every year. And when I was a kid, it was exciting for a lot of reasons. I liked to wear my new Easter dress and my new Easter shoes, which usually were hand-me-downs from my sisters, but that's okay because they were new to me. And I loved to go to sunrise services at my church early, early in the morning as the sun was rising. We'd sit out in the freezing cold because this was western Kansas um, and the spring is always really cold there. Sometimes it was snowing and we'd sit on these metal bleachers shivering, singing praises to God because Jesus is alive. And then we'd go inside and we'd eat warm breakfast casseroles and drink hot chocolate. The adults would drink coffee. Um, and sometimes we'd do an Easter egg hunt before the mid-morning service, the 1030 service. And those types of traditions were so important to me. This year doesn't look anything like that. But one thing is still true. Jesus is alive. Even death could not defeat him. God's love wins. Isn't that good news? Now, I want to make sure that we actually focus on what the Bible says even today. Some of you know this story, but I know that some of you are not as familiar with it. And so I want to read from the Gospel of Luke, starting in chapter 24 at the very beginning. And we'll read Luke's account of that Resurrection Sunday. Um, before I get into this, I want you to remember that the Jewish Sabbath day, the last day of the week, is on Saturday. So when the Bible says the first day of the week, it's our Sunday. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee? The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day raised again. Then they remembered Jesus' words. When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the others. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women because their words seemed like them to, to be nonsense. Seemed to them like nonsense. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he went away wondering to himself what had happened. Now, if the story had ended there, if Peter had left that tomb and not really known what had happened and been thinking about the things that the women said and not knowing what was true, 
we might still be confused too. But the story goes on and Jesus himself in the flesh met Peter on that road. Jesus himself went to the disciples hiding in that room and he ate with them. He let Thomas, who was doubting, touch his wounds if he needed to. Jesus was alive. And to prove it to them, he ate with them. He probably sang with them and their eyes were opened and their minds were open to all of the things that Jesus had been telling them all, all along, things that they hadn't understood. Friends, we celebrate today because we have a God who is alive. Jesus beat death. And so while we can be afraid of a lot of things in this world, we can also know that our God is stronger and mightier and God is for us and God came to redeem this world and to make things right again. And so I want you to celebrate today. Hopefully those of you who attend our church got the Easter bags that we sent to you and you have things to play with and color and a scavenger hunt to do. But all of you, even if you don't have that bag, you can celebrate. You can take sidewalk chalk and go out and decorate the sidewalks to tell people that Jesus is alive. You can shout around your neighborhood that Jesus is alive. Whatever you do, sing it out, shout it out, color, draw, celebrate because Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. Hallelujah.